So uh, in this one, we're asked to mix plum, uh, potassium sulfate and plumbus nitrate. And then to predict the outcome and write the molecular equation, the ionic equation, and the net ionic equation. Here's potassium sulfate. Here's uh, plumbus nitrate, the lower ionization, uh, the lower uh, version of the lead cation, lead tube is called plumbus. When you mix these two solutions, you're going to get lead sulfate and potassium nitrate. Lead sulfate, if you look up the solubility tables, is not a soluble substance. Therefore, the ions will combine in an aqueous solution and they'll form a precipitate. This is the molecular equation, so you show everything as one piece. But the ionic equation shows what happens when all these things hit water. They dissociate into their respective cations and anions. You see what the potassium sulfate gives rise to. Lead nitrate gives rise to these two uh, ions. And when lead cations interact with sulfate anions, they form an insoluble salt. So they precipitate up and get a solid. These two are soluble in water, so they remain in solution. In the next equation, we show we, we cross out everything that appears on both sides of the equation. So you see potassium here, and we see potassium there. We see um, nitrate on this side, we see nitrate on that side. So they're spectator ions. Because they appear on both sides of the equation, they're not actually interacting with each other. They're more attracted to the water molecules. They stay in solution. They're soluble. Therefore, they don't participate in the reaction. So the net ionic react reaction is what you get when you cancel out all the spectators. And that's what we get. Lead cations uh, combining with sulfate to form lead sulfate. The next example, I asked you to predict the outcome of cesium iodide solution and barium nitrate solution if they're mixed. So here are the two substances, cesium iodide, aqueous, remember it's mixed in water, barium nitrate, aqueous. When you mix the two together, now I wasn't sure about the solubility of this. I think barium iodide is not soluble. I'll have to ch double check. But let's assume, for the sake of argument, that it isn't. Um, this is what you would get to get a solid. Cesium nitrate is soluble, I'm pretty sure, because all nitrates are soluble in water. <coughs> if you draw the ionic equation, you'll get two cesium cations, two iodide anions, one barium cation and two nitrate anions. When the two meet in solution, we're assuming this barium iodide is not soluble, forms a solid, and it precipitates. These two are soluble, so they remain in solution. When you cancel out the spectators, you're left with the net ionic equation. Barium combined with iodide will give you barium iodide. Any questions?